Hey, at Elk Electronic, we're um, really excited about the new Elmira 2. Um, this has packed so much stuff into a, quite a small little little um, enclosure that we're really excited about. So it's available desktop like this module here, um, but the same module now also is compatible with Eurorack. So you can get it as a Eurorack standalone without the case. Or if down the track you decided to, you can always put this one that's in the case into your Eurorack system. Um, and as you can see, there's a bunch of patchable options on this. So pretty much everything that you can control on the front panel manually is also controllable via CV, which is really, really nice. Um, compared to the Elmira 1, there's, there's heaps more features packed into this space than Elmira 1. But some of the things that we're familiar with, we've got our touch pads and our tune knobs. Sorry, I've... Um, fractured my collarbone and I'm just in a sling so I can only use one hand at a time at the moment but yeah so um, we've got those a couple of those things we're familiar with plus a whole bunch of new stuff so I'm really excited about things like our variable envelope time so in the first one we had it switchable between a long and a short envelope but what's really cool we can get really short here some of the ones in the first one didn't get as short as this so it's nice to be able to get that really almost percussive sort of vibe happening and then we can lengthen that right out as well or we can go really long so we've got one extra oscillator compared to the first one um, so it gives us a bit more versatility there we've got um, obviously tune for each voice Then we have this modulation on each voice. Get a bit of a PWM sort of vibe. We have obviously our envelope settings. And then the other thing that is really cool here is a whole range of wave shapes controlled by the wave parameter. So let's try and I might just get this to drone actually. So we can get it to drone if we hold down the PG button and then let go. Then we can scroll through those waves. Keeps a nice harmonic rich tones in here. And then if we do a short press on the PG, we're going to get a new wave table. droning long press on the pg so you can hear there's a ton of oscillator sounds in there uh, and we have that for every voice so we can stack these up really nice we can have our um tuning or the tune one of the things i will note on the tuning was really nice to get into chromatic mode really easily by pressing this chromatic mode button over here so then we have stepped tuning. so if you want to tune intervals between oscillators it's much easier One of the new additions um, to the Elmira 2, which which is really uh, useful and makes us have like a lot of sonic expression in the box, is our utilities over here. So available via patching. Uh, we've got two LFOs with frequency control. You can change the wave shape on the second one. Um, and then we've got some utilities as well to do some adding and attenuation. So uh, we can patch these things now like really nicely into things like our wave shape.
And of course, we have a filter. So our filter controls, um, obviously, cut off and resonance. Um, we've got a nice squelch in this filter. One thing I'll just touch on, but I won't go into detail in this video, is that there are more things packed under the hood here, so we can change filter types and things. We'll go into that in more detail in another video. But to start with, this sounds great on its own. Circuit, the out circuit, you might have seen that in some of the Neutral Labs um, Euro Rack modules. Um, so we've got these familiar sort of choking, which will restrict some of our level, but we get a bit of a distortion that way, so it's always like starving that power supply sort of vibe where we kind of get into a really gritty sort of thing. And then the bite, which we'll just do that on its own. So when you're choking, if it's all the way open, you're letting everything through. As you turn that down, you're going to start to get to some distortion. Um, with the bite control, once you turn that up, we're going to get into a really harsh distortion there. And that can go really hard. And then with a bit of choke as well. Bit of a sweet spot there. Finally on the front panel, well I guess not, not really, there's some more buttons and functions over here, but in terms of our real-time controls, um, we've got our delay section. So, we've got our delay time, feedback, how long it goes for, and the mix, how much is in there. So let's have a bit of a play with that now.
Yeah, so we've got a whole range of sounds in there. We can do a bunch of different things, just touching on some of those noisy oscillators, trying to get them to break up a little bit through the distortion and the delays and how that impacts each one. Um, we've got some extra features over here in different mods and, and, and um, with our recording function. So there is an inbuilt sequencer, which we can sequence across the different voices. Um, I'll go into that in another video. But for now, I just wanted to touch on all those front panel really tactile controls. Uh, it is so cool that we can control this all from external CV as well. You could potentially plug a keyboard into this via um, CV controls as well into the tune knobs. And I think that would be an interesting thing to try out. Um, yeah, so love to hear what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what, what, what do you like about it. Um, keen to hear what you know what else you'd like to hear um i'm going keen to go into a bit more depth in some of the other things as well and look at some of the um, controls that are sort of hidden um in, in another video so keep an eye out for that one as well thanks for watching if you like this video i'd love it if you'd uh just like my video and maybe subscribe to the channel uh, that'd be really helpful um, thanks and catch in the next one